Hello everybody, good morning. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot and this is going to be the Twin Astrology Forecast for the Twin Flame Collective for the week ahead. I would like to mention that there is not going to be a daily collective message today. Uh, things are running behind and so I feel delays and challenges, delays and challenges and so uh, this forecast is not sign specific guys also keep that in mind we've got some big energies I do feel a lot of us have been taking it within the Virgo full moon really asked us to bring all of this inside internally right and so this week we got uh, some pretty big energies playing out what do we got what do we got going on this week I got my calendar on the wrong page okay so this week we do have the moon entering into Libra today later today and so that's going to be this energy of after organizing a bunch of things bringing everything inside it's asking us to find that balance tomorrow we're going to have mars square jupiter on wednesday we're going to have the sun conjunct mercury the sun conjunct saturn and mercury also conjunct saturn and the moon's going to be going into scorpio so there's going to be a deep dive when it comes to any injustices the following day we're going to have mercury sextile jupiter at 11 degrees and then we're going into March. Uh, this is also a leap year. So very interesting. We don't, yeah, on Thursday's the 29th. And then we go into March. And so on Friday, we're going to have the Sun sextile Jupiter, Venus sextile Chiron, and Venus sextile the North Node. And so there's a lot of endings taking place. There's a lot of uh, completions reaching full circle. And then we close off the week on Sunday with Mercury and Pisces in opposition to Lilith. In Virgo at 16 degrees get ready for a tower because we also have Venus square Uranus so let's get into it let's talk about these energies some of the big sinks that have been very loud the last few days 777 888 999 and so we're wrapping up the completion of a major karmic cycle 717 818 and 919 have been loud so let's talk about Mars square Jupiter because I was shown the energy of the Queen of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune and so I feel this transit is giving us all the energy and initiative to start something new, to take a risk, to go towards large scale success. I know I'm feeling the pull to go towards to go towards large scale success. I'm driven, I'm focused on career, the channel. And so this is a very attractive energy, okay? And so I feel, although it's attractive uh, because it's two fixed energies, it can be a little bit tactless and a little bit coarse when it comes to uh, getting your way. So I do feel we're going to have to figure out how to harness this energy to use this impulsive energy wisely. We're going to want to have a lot of forethought and we're going to want to be strategic when we're acting rashly without really considering the consequences. That is when I feel um, maybe your foundation might be threatened. I feel with the Queen of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune coming through, this is a very powerful message, I feel, for the Divine Feminine to use this wisdom that you've gained on this awakening journey to create real change in your own life and in the world around you. The Queen of Swords represents a woman who is highly intelligent, who has a lot of higher perspectives, is willing to see things from all perspectives, but is rooted in her own independent truth, her own independent morals and values. And so I do feel the Wheel of Fortune is also symbolizing the cyclical nature of life. And everything is inevitably all about change. The wheel is all about change. Everything is in constant motion. Things are constantly moving. And so I feel this is a week of embracing massive changes. I feel a lot of the divine feminines are coming into a lot of clarity of thought, clarity of mind um, with these transits that has really allowed us to uh, find the strength to navigate any twists and turns because I do feel there's going to be a lot of twists and turns this week in the energy. On Wednesday, we have the sun conjunct Mercury at nine degrees. 14 the sun conjunct saturn at nine degrees 46 and the sun conjunct mercury at nine degrees 44 and then the moon's going to enter into, into scorpio so that's a whole lot of hermit energy the hermit and the temperance the hermit with the six of cups and the hermit with the four of cups and that's that virgo energy of bringing it inside and so with the sun conjunct mercury this is a beautiful aspect for artists 
I feel it's a beautiful aspect for the Divine Feminine uh, to maybe step into the spotlight. It's great for those that perform, right? Journal is very poetic. It's very um, intellectual. Uh, the thinking is very subjective. It's Piscean energy. Um, and so we're going to need to see things from outside of the box, I feel. With the Hermit and the Temperance uh, appearing together, I feel in these energies, it's creating a very powerful combination of cosmic energies. There is a deep uh, signified need for introspection. Uh, introspection, patience, balance, uh, right? And so we need to take time to withdraw. That is the high priestess energy, the opposite of the hermit. And so the two energies coincide together, right? The high priestess is very singular, solitary energy into the mysteries she goes. And the hermit shines the light on the darkness of the mysteries. And so we're dealing with, I feel, a lot of Virgo and Pisces polarities in the energies this week. And so introspection is going to be needed. Withdrawal is going to be needed. And so that's where I felt this withdrawal from the hustle and the bustle. And so the next couple of days, I think videos are going to be sparse. And I know I have three signs left for February. And so I'm, I'm really sorry that it's taken me this long to get those out for you. I know it's Scorpio, Aquarius, and Sag, and I will work on those. Uh, not today. It is, it is uh, my best friend's birthday today. And so we're going out for lunch and we're spending the day together after I'm done this video. <laughs> So I just feel withdrawing from the hustle and bustle. I got a busy week because my mom's also getting ready to uh, to go to Florida for a couple of weeks. And so I kind of got to get everything all done before I lose my entire support system uh, with the kids for the week. So withdrawal, um, focus on your spiritual growth, focus on your personal goals, I feel is a big message this week for the Divine Feminine. With the Sun conjunct Saturn, uh, this is like a sobering energy. Saturn in Pisces is all about your daily spiritual vocation, uh, growing spiritually. It also means like, hey, we need to stand up. We need we need to be counted in the world. And so hard work, discipline, and patience, that's all that is needed uh, when it comes to attending to our spiritual duties this week. So uh, I feel a lot of the feminines take on all of this extra responsibility of the transmuting of the collective uh, collective shifts because we act as that mentor and as that guide. And a lot of us go through these shifts first. So we can be those teachers to teach others how to overcome these challenges. And so I feel a lot of the feminines are coming into a lot of achievement, recognition, almost like a, a spiritual promotion. So be mindful of that. The Hermit with the Six of Cups, this is an introspective energy attached to nostalgia, childhood memories. Um, so this week's transits, I feel, are going to be able to provide a lot of deep insights into any current um, emotional situations or any current patterns uh, that you're needing to understand. So as you're in this uh, pause for reflection on, on your past experiences, your past relationships, this is a moment where I feel we're doing this deep reconnection to the inner child so we can get get back to finding the joy in the simple things in life. Uh, with Mercury conjunct Saturn, this is bringing a lot of uh, critical, serious, challenging thinking into the mix. It's a lot of mental work, I feel. And so this is bringing a lot of uh, serious thoughts, maybe even uh, low pessimistic thoughts, uh, because the Piscean Ocean may drag you down when it comes to struggling with communication or being bombarded with higher communication, creating confusion. And so we're going to have to stay focused. We're going to have to stay, stay disciplined, grounded, and organized uh, because the energy I feel is going to bring an underlying touch of like depression, especially if there are any very difficult conversations that need to be had because the Four of Cups with the Hermit doesn't really feel good, right? But it does offer insight uh, when it comes to love and relationships. Uh, cups represent water. The Four of Cups is almost like an apathetic feeling, like a bored, apathetic, dissatisfied feeling. It's the energy of soul suppression and depression. And with the Hermit symbolizing all of this deep introspection, there's a lot being reflected. And oftentimes we have to be isolated in a toxic karmic cycle one-on-one -on -one for that mere reflection. And I noticed 919 to be uh, shone upon that romantic relationship. And so Thursday, February 29th is a leap year. Happy birthday to any leap year babies out there on my channel. It's like, it's your year. Every four years you get a real birthday, right? Something like that. <laughs> so we're going to have Mercury sextile uh, Jupiter at 11 degrees, 12 justice and the hanged man. 
And so this is favoring uh, planning for the future, thinking about planning for the future. Jupiter is all about expansion. So there's going to be a broad, expansive outlook uh, when it comes to the future and visualizing the preferred path that you'd like ahead. But we also have to put in the action. And so we can't keep debating on which road to take. I do feel there's an opportunity this week to negotiate uh, the signing of a new soul contract. Uh, and so I just feel uh, travel. This might mean travel towards a new contract. Uh, and the hanged man with the justice card. Uh, this is this is a huge representation of reflection, mirror reflections within relationships. And so uh, all relationships are going to mirror or show us where we need to take a step back and reevaluate our actions, our, de our decisions and our perspectives, because we are shifting our romantic lives. Uh, that is what the twins came here to do. And so with Friday, March the 1st, with the Sun sextile Jupiter, Venus sextile Chiron, and Venus sextile the North Node, I do feel this is a very optimistic energy coming through, but there's a lot of fated, destined things playing out, right? Whether we believe in fate or we believe in free will, uh, this can be a very lucky time period for the Twin Flame Collective. It can attract good fortune if you are in a state of positive thinking. So you're going to want to watch your thought processes because it is one of the most fortunate aspects I feel playing out this week. It's a great time to research, to plan, uh, to reach your goals, Divine Feminine. Uh, there's almost this energy too of little to no resistance when it comes to learning a lesson or releasing something that is no longer serving your path. I was shown the Queen of Wands with justice. And so I feel this is a this is a very powerful message for the Divine Feminine connected to leadership. Find your confidence, find your balance, step into leadership, because I feel we're all reinvigorating our passion, our creativity. We're finding our determination to go for that balanced justice that we require in our life. And so this is all about fairness, truth, and accountability. With Venus sextile Chiron, this is a very harmonious alignment between love and the wounded healer. And so this is asking us to explore our deepest potential for healing within relationships so we can have a solid sense of self-worth and self-value. And so this is going to bring forward a deep sense of self-discovery for many of the divine feminines in the collective connected to your healing and growth journey, especially in matters of love and relationships. And so... I was also shown the star uh, with the devil card. And so this, this message does come with a warning. The energy is feeling very karmic leading into next weekend. And so we need to strike a balance. And so there's going to be a fine line, I feel, between hope and despair playing out leading leading more into the weekend between the balancing of the light and the dark and the good and the evil. And so the star, the Aquarian energy, it's hope, it's optimism, it's faith. It represents the water bearer of spiritual connection. But the devil represents temptation, addiction, and materialism and greed. And so there's a struggle right now within the collective when it comes to the pursuit of these higher spiritual ideals. And then a lot of us being dragged back down into the seduction of the devilish earthly pleasures of lust. And so there's a big warning, right? We need to resist these negative influences, these negative temptations, and we need to maintain a strong sense of our deep inner guidance, which is why I feel this pull to all of this hermit energy playing out this week. And so there's a warning. The universe is saying, hey, you need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check yourself before you wreck yourself this week. Because these two energies combined together leading into the weekend is like a mixed bag of I don't even know what's going to happen. So be mindful. The star can help us balance out the negative influence of the devil and give us hope in a very dark situation. Uh, but I do feel the universe is saying, hey, it's, it's going to be a little bit rough. It's going to be rough because uh, we're not quite at the light at the end of the tunnel yet. I feel a lot of the masculines are being dragged back down into temptation with the karmic. And so uh, the feminine needs to see the light at the end of the tunnel while the masculine is dragged back down. And so there's a lot of shadowy parts, I feel, being illuminated within the karmic contracts that have been avoided that many have not wanted to face. And with Venus sextile, the North Node, uh, this is a creating a new direction. 
uh, a new direction. And so this is divine orchestration, divine uh, towers kind of playing out. So things can finally align and move us all in the direction that we're meant to go in for our karmic pathway. And so it's, it's faded, it's destined. You're going to want to connect to your spiritual strength uh, because we're all being asked to foster new relationships. And this will allow us to actually make that collective dream come true. So if there's a significant connection leaving your life, uh, this is to allow you to go towards the faded path that you are meant to cross with your divine counterpart at this time. And so there's a great deal of endings playing out this week to lead us towards learning these lessons once and for all. And so I feel a lot of the masculines are stumbling. They're making a lot of mistakes. Um, but all of these mistakes and, and karmic encounters are teachers, I feel, for the masculine this week, long term. I was also shown the star with the Knight of Cups. And so this, I feel, is a powerful combination, too, of spiritual growth. Uh, the, the Knight of Cups, we got to be careful, right? The Knight of Cups says, don't be caught up in fantasy and illusion. Because we are on the path of spiritual enlightenment. So stay grounded and trust in your intuition. We got to be in that hermit energy. Because when we get swayed by fantasy and illusion, then we get lost. Then we're not sure of what it is we truly want. And it leads to this major lack of direction. And we're going round and round and round in circles. So I think the Knight of Cups is this energy of, hey, this romantic illusion of I'm here to save the day. And bottom line is, um, although the Knight of Cups can represent romance and passion and, and a heartfelt offer, we have to be careful not to get caught up in fantasy because nobody's really coming to save the day, okay? And so I feel the Knight of Cups in, in the vision that I was shown is representing an unrealistic outlook right now on life or a relationship. So stay grounded uh, because we are about to embark on a brand new romantic journey and we need to hold tight because I think we're about to be prepared for the ride of our life right now. And so we need to keep our feet on the ground and, and decide what it is we truly want. Going into the weekend on Sunday, we're going to have uh, Mercury opposite Lilith. So this is not very good energy to work with, with Venus square Uranus at 19 degrees. I feel this is uh, triggering a lot of past suppressed rage and a lot of raw emotion that has really interfered with rationality and, and being guided towards the, the correct path. So I think there's going to be a hard time with, with clear thinking. Because there's going to be a lot of raw emotions on um, being triggered, 1711. And so there's going to be a lot of arguing. There's going to be a lot of people that like to fight just for the sake of fighting. And if you are in a Lilith opposition uh, with somebody in a contract, good luck to you. That's like Mercury and Pisces opposite Lilith and Virgo. And so this really is a very difficult time, I feel, in these energies. There's a lot of obsessive insecurities coming up as well. And a lot of deep, raw emotions that have been swept under the rug are coming up to the surface with a vengeance. And so there's a deep desire, I feel, for the masculine and his independence this week. And I feel there's a lot of sabotaging uh, behaviors playing out in these karmic relationship cycles. Uh, so I feel a lot of the karmics are trying to intimidate the masculine and the masculine is impulsively uh, dragging, dragging his butt out of that karmic situation because I was shown the Knight of Swords with the tower. So that's dramatic, sudden relationship endings and changes. That's somebody getting out of a relationship just in the nick of time. And there is a major upheaval going on or undergoing in the masculine's life when it comes to a karmic ending this week, I feel. With Venus square, the North Node, Venus and Pisces square, uh, the North Node and Aries, uh, I feel a lot of the karmics really have just been expecting the masculine to fulfill all of their needs and they've been ignoring what they came here to do when it comes to their mission, their karmic pathway. And so we can't keep avoiding opening up our heart to the truth. Uh, and so I feel a lot of the masculines are uh, going towards achievement with the feminine. And uh, the karmics are going to have to go down a solitary path, I feel, moving forward. And so there's, there's this assumption that others keep blocking us from pursuing our ambitions. And that's not true because we all have free will to choose our path, right? And so I feel a lot of the masculines have stayed stuck in that family obligation. 
and that's been a block and so this relationship has just basically become routine i don't think it brings the masculine any excitement or anything that he wanted i don't even think there's anything going on intimately between uh the masculine and the karmic relationship and there's a lot of simmering resentments beneath the surface and the masculine i feel is going to expose that and so i feel a lot of the karmics too are are underlying like hiding all of these resentments too and so I feel there's a new emotional uh, endeavor here, but the karmic I feel is overly emotional, very deceptive, and I feel uh, we're going to have to remain vigilant this week. There's potential for a bright future ahead. Uh, that's what the, that's what I journal. But we're going to have to buckle up because there's going to be a lot of emotions coming out this week. I feel um, there's going to be a lot of drama. Because I think the karmic just wants to keep being swept off her feet, wants to stay in this romantic illusion, is this damsel in distress, and she's being a bit of a drama queen, almost like um, looking at the masculine as this love-struck teenager, and she just got rejected right before the prom, and she doesn't want to be rejected, and so I think she's overly emotional, impulsive, and she can't seem to keep anything together. And so I just, I just feel like the karma is going to be acting like a, a raging inner teenager uh, this week and having a tantrum and ruining all, everything for the masculine. I feel a lot of, a lot of uh, vindictiveness coming forward. And so I just feel on the bright side though, we're about to have a breakthrough. So let's jump in with a couple of cards. Like I said, I have a date today with uh, the spiritual empath. Uh, wish her a happy birthday down below in the comments. Happy birthday, Mel. Okay. Oh, look at that. Uh, the gambler. Uh, it almost fell. So this is about having blind faith. I feel a lot of the masculines have not been willing to follow their intuition. And, and this is about blind faith. Yeah. And we get the artist on the cut. So <clears throat> a lot of the masculines are stuck in a situation where they've mistreated others. They've been mistreated. And uh, they've been in this illicit pity party for, for many years. And the feminine is here to uh, inspire the masculine to see life from the higher perspective. And so it's a week of maybe taking a risk. So let's get a couple of archetype energies coming through for the divine masculine for the week ahead. What main archetype energies are surrounding the masculine? Look at that. Okay. We get the healer and the guide. And so I feel the energies around the masculine, I think he's looking at you. I think he sees you as this healer, as this guide, and and he is recognizing those that have taken advantage of him. And he's he's also recognizing where he has failed uh, to care for himself. And so you've kind of shown this to him through your service mission. A lot of the feminines go through the repairing of the mind, the body, and the soul first, which gives us the ability to transform all of this, this pain from the masculine into our, our greatest healing gifts. And so a lot of the masculine stay stuck in the karmic cycles and they place financial gain and control over everything in their life, over imparting these spiritual insights with the feminine. And so the feminine is the guy that represents the divinity in the life of the masculine. And so I do feel uh, the feminine has shone the light on the trickster and the vampire surrounding the masculine. And I do feel this is all uh, closing out this week. And so the feminine shining her light, being this healer, being this guide, is allowing the masculine to become aware of who has been draining his life force energy. Because the karmic more or less depletes the masculine for her physical and psychic survival she drains the masculine she's a chronic complainer she's extremely codependent and she manipulates everybody through duplicity in that whole situation and so the feminine has shown the masculine how to transcend this predictable behavior and so there's there's a lot being shown when it comes to the shadow attributes of the karmic where she has betrayed the masculine she's misused um what he's told her and there's like a major loss of personal identity, I feel, for the karmic. And the masculine is coming into the priesthood and, and becoming the student, right? When the teacher is ready, the student appears. So I feel a week of humiliation for the masculine is kind of what it feels like. Because he violated the trust of the feminine. And he was seduced by the karmic. And so the energy are facilitating these higher spiritual commitments this week. Let's see uh, what archetype needs to come through for the Divine Feminine for the week ahead. Main archetype energies surrounding the Divine Feminine for the week ahead, please. 
<clears throat> we get the king. Interesting. So I do feel uh, in the warrior on the bottom of the deck. Uh, so I do feel, I know for myself, there's, there is a, a new king on my path. And so I feel the masculines are struggling with excessive feelings of entitlement towards you, divine feminine. There's a lot of jealousy uh, that the masculine is struggling with. And I do feel this new king on your path or a new offer on your path is really going to highlight uh, where the masculine needs to find his strength and discipline, right? I do feel um, you're stepping into victory. You're stepping into victory. It's like, here you are, you're the spiritual mediator, and you're exposing all of the bullies in and around of the masculine. And so I think you might want to be mindful this week because you might have somebody trying to attack you and blow smoke or trying to intimidate you, uh, maybe connected to the karmic. But I feel there's, there's this energy in and around you highlighting uh, the people around you that have really poor ethical principles and so i feel you're in this place of indifference to the to the pain and the suffering that the masculine has inflicted on you it's just this very voided almost like indifferent feeling and i was sitting in that yesterday and so you're learning to be your own hero and you've conquered the lower ego uh and so i just feel right now you're stepping into your gifts you're really shining that light. You've really shone the light on uh, the people connected to the masculine that have ulterior motives, hidden agendas. And I feel you're gaining affluency professionally and personally right now with your professional life. Um, and then we get the hedonist and the goddess on the bottom of the deck. And so this is the pivot point, right? A lot of the masculines are attracted to uh, lustful pleasures to the detriment of their health. And they've really indulged at the expense of a lot of people. And I feel uh, you are the feminine energy expressing all of this spiritual wisdom. And I feel uh, you've highlighted uh, where the masculine needs to believe in himself. And so there's addictions that need to come up for addressing, for clearing. The masculine's really compromised a lot of integrity and honesty. And he's used these addictions to block all of these overwhelming emotions that I feel are boiling in like a tsunami. Because these addictions and these patterns and these karmic cycles with that karmic influence has really had authority over his spirit and over this commitment with the feminine. And so I feel this is a week of confronting uh, these behaviors once and for all. So let's jump in with some tarot and let's see what else needs to come through. Ooh, on the masculine's end, we get the ego reversed in the seven of swords. I don't feel good. This is an embarrassing secret coming out. This is humiliation. This is material loss due to dishonesty. And so I think a lot of the karmics and the masculines are losing their mind. But this is breaking free from an illusion, um, making a better choice. So I just feel there's the final severing kind of playing out this week for the masculine. Let's see what else needs to come through for the divine masculine for the week ahead. What other energies need to come through for the divine masculine? Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, divine masculine, we get the five of swords upright, the six of wands reversed, the high priestess reversed, the cats out of the bag. And then we got this that landed right on the karmic vampire trickster energy. So there's anger. There's uh, an unleashing of sacred rage because of the lack of accepting the sacred leadership role. And so the masculines, I feel, are they're, they're in the spotlight, but not in the way they want to be. And so this embarrassing secret is coming out. There's a major rage connected to all of this criticism around the masculine. There's a lack of victory, a lack of success. There's exposure of the unwise choice. A lot of the masculines maybe took a risk, took a gamble. And there's exposure of the lack of integrity and all of the questionable motives because they received poor advice. And what's on the bottom of the deck? The illumination of the divine feminine that they ghosted, that they left out in the cold, that they rejected, that they weren't willing to invest in. And so this has got the masculine right in a core wound connected to these unions. And so we had that Venus-Mars conjunction. It felt like union was here and now it just feels like it's eluded us. And so I just feel the masculine is deeply wounded. He's learning to protect himself. I think he's having a hard time. He's feeling spiritually attacked with all of these negative forces and vices surrounding him. And he's looking at the feminine, enjoying her success of the hard work that she's put in. And I think he's wondering, is the feminine still single now that I've closed out the cycle? I think the masculine is praying for help right now. Let's see what needs to come through for the feminine. The masculine could be dealing with a Pisces or a, a Leo. 
I feel Pisces or Leo. doesn't have to be. But let's see what needs to come through uh, for the Divine Feminine. We'll be dealing with the air sign. Uh, but I do feel strong Pisces and Leo. So Divine Feminine. We get uh, the tower. We get a tower for you. <laughs> we get the transformation card, bottom of the deck, and we get the lovers. Unexpected choice in love. You got a tower. And so I think you're coming out of confusion. You're ready to make a decision. And you are never going back to anything toxic. So the feminine is really all done with her addictions, her unhealthy habits. She's completely moved on from that. And you see things clearly. You've got your eyes wide open. You've got clarity of thought, clarity of clarity of emotions. Everything is crystal clear for you. And I think that's what that full moon in Virgo brought in for you was the truth and clarity as to how to move forward when it comes to a connection. So you've got a choice between two. And I think that's the main tower. I do feel you might have to confront the karmic this week. I feel a lot of the karmics are hiding behind a lot of verbal abuse towards you. I think there's a lot of slander towards you. And you are you might have to confront that. But I also feel you're ready. You're ready uh, for a new cycle in love. You released the old beliefs. You've gone through this shift. Divine timing is saying if these masculines choose not to accept the leadership role, they will bring you a new divine uh, counterpart that will walk side beside you that is going to be better than you could have ever expected and so i feel you're coming out of confusion illusion and you are ending your challenging time so get get ready to breathe a sigh of relief come the end of the week you're bringing in relief you're moving towards a life partnership and maybe this is you just uh peacefully uh choosing your own path oh what can you what can you tell me about uh the twins this week one last message for the twins yeah, get ready for an unexpected event that will move you forward quickly, whether it's the masculine coming in or a new lover uh, that will uh, allow you to recover and prepare you for the next leg of your journey. But I feel there is going to be an unexpected change this week uh, connected to the twins that will move uh, these connections forward with great speed. So let's do one last message. Let's close off the reading with the numerology deck. Change change is inevitable and so uh this is a massive week of change of personal growth of truth uh taking guided action with the seven card so what else do we need to be aware of for the week ahead 33 communication divine communication this is like seven of wands so there's some ascension here uh 33 is the energy of the teacher of the teachers we got master number 33 master number 22 follow your intuition because we are stepping into a major portal of teaching Everything that we've learned on the journey and we're going through rebirth and we are stepping into leadership. So whether it's the counterpart coming forward or not, we are stepping into spiritual partnerships and this will be divinely guided love being brought forward. So follow the signs, follow the sinks and trust that you have persevered through the challenges and you are ready for this recovery. Get ready for an unexpected choice in love, maybe with a Gemini or Scorpio or a Capricorn or a Pisces. Divine Feminine, get ready. You've persevered. Allow the music to guide you. And that's what I have for the twins this week. I hope this helped. I hope this resonated. If you would like to book a personal or a soulmate reading with me, please feel free to check out that description box below. And I do look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thanks, guys.